On Saturday the 2nd of June, Renishaw's show took place at the local community hall. Growing year on year since 2009 with the support of Ricknold Homes, the 2012 show held stalls from many local groups and organisations. I'm Kelly Massey, I'm the Health and Wellbeing Development Officer for North East Derbyshire District Council. Um, we're here today to really promote the Shine 2012 Roadshow. Shine 2012 is all about inspiring young people, older people, anybody in the local community really, to try and do more physical activity and sport in their local community. So as you can see behind me, we've got one of the replica torches here from North East Derbyshire what we've brought along to Renishire today to promote this fabulous jubilee event um, and as I say the, the different things that we've got behind us here are really to promote what opportunities that we've got in as local leisure facilities. Hello I'm Edward Leddy Owen and I'm the sustainability officer for Ricknold Homes. Obviously we're here today to support the community because um, indeed we are a major housing provider and uh, want our community to get the best from the situation that they're in and um, obviously it's very important that we listen to our community and uh, identify how we can help them in the most proactive way. My main focus is obviously making sure that our tenants can get the best from their um, utilities and fuel bill and by that we've created the Ricknold Energy Savers project. If you want to know more information about this then do please get onto our website and uh, have a look and then get in touch because obviously we want to know um, what your situation is and we'll happily talk to you on a case by case basis so that you can make um, the most of our services. Um, my name's Anne Beard, I'm the coordinator of Eckington Short Start Children's Centre. Um, we're based in um, the Grange at Eckington. We cover Renishaw, Eckington, Marsh Lane and Ridgeway um, is the area that the children's centre covers. Um, we put on activities for children and families from birth to five years old. Um, most of it's free, it's, it's a lot of stuff in the centre and a lot of stuff in the community, in the local community. Um, we're here today just to be part of the, of the fun day, have an activity for children to do and hopefully promote the, the Sure Start Centre, get more people coming along. What kind of, is there anything sort of specifically that you can, uh, any specific examples of things that you are helping people with on a day to day basis? Um, well, we, we, we run lots of different um, activities at the centre for pa families with children um, and we support families as well if they've got, if they've got any issues, any problems, um, if they're new to the area and they don't know anybody, it's a good way of meeting other families. Um, if they're a bit unsure about anything to do with their children, they can come along and get advice. Um, if they're having more problems, then we can do home visits um, and support them in their own home. Things like uh, signposting them to other agencies. So if they've got problems with debt or anything like that, we can um, we'll signpost them on to somebody who can give them the appropriate advice. Uh, we work closely with the health visitors as well and the midwives so it's a, a service right through from as soon as the child's born right through to when they go to school we, and we work closely with the n nurseries and the preschools as well. I'm Janet Lunn, um, I'm secretary for the community hall. I live in Renishaw, lived here 30, well 41 years. <laughs> um, and basically we're just trying to raise some money to carry on modernising and redecorating the hall. We took over last July time and during that time it's, the hall's really taken up. There's something in the hall every day uh, from the mother and toddler to zumba to bums and tums to dancing to bowling. Uh, we've got quite a few christenings but we're hoping to eventually um, encourage people to use it as a wedding function, you know, for the catering side of it, obviously. Um, we're in the process, hopefully, of trying to um, get an application to take over the bar. I mean, the bar is there, but we're not a licensee at the moment, but we're in the middle of doing that. Um, uh, and that's basically what today is, as well as Renishaw Day, which is their day, uh, we're just trying to raise a few more pennies to modernise the kitchen next. I'm Maggie Ashima. I'm Michelle Wilcock. And I'm Vice Chair of the Committee at the Renishaw and Swinkle Community Hall. And so is Margaret, she's on the Committee. And today we've done a Teddy Tom Bowler, which has been a huge success. We've raised a lot of money to put back into Community Hall. 
for Jubilee. My name's Stephen Thompson. I'm the uh, Pro, uh, Promotions and Exhibitions Officer for the Chesterfield Canal Trust. My principal role is looking after what we call the James Brindley, which is our exhibition trailer, which we take about to events and galas locally, regionally and nationally. Um, we also aim to raise funds for the Canal Trust. Um, we do have a, a section that deals with that, um, operating a tombola, um, and selling general uh, stuff for the canal, like books, guides and so on. Um, that's proved very successful over the last year or so. Um, the Canal Trust uh, was formed in 1998. 1998. Um, it took over from the old Chesterfield Canal Society and the principal aim is obviously to campaign and get the Chesterfield Canal restored all the way from Chesterfield out to its source, on, uh, out to the River Trent. Uh, at the moment we've got 33 miles of canal from West Stockwith to Kiverton Park uh, in fully in water. We've then got about eight and a half miles which is derelict or semi-derelict between Kiverton Park and Staveley and at Staveley we've just uh, got a new basin opened uh, which completes the uh, navigation from Chesterfield to Staveley which gives us another about five and a half miles in water from Chesterfield. We're here at uh, Renishaw for their community day because the canal does uh, flow through Renishaw just down the road here and um, Renishaw is another of those communities that is very active in its support for the restoration of the canal. Um, it's, it's nice to come to these places and promote the canal and uh, see the support that we get because I think everybody in the area uh, wants the canal back. Hi there, I'm PC Robo, the member of the Exxon Safe Neighbourhood team. Today, the 2nd of June, Saturday, it's the uh, Renishaw Sports Day, Community Day at Renishaw. Uh, we brought along one of the mobile police stations, which you see behind me. We have four of these uh, mobile police stations in Derbyshire, uh, one in the north of the county, one in the south, one in the west, one in the east. Uh, these mobile police stations are very expensive, but they're used mainly midweek to cover lo rural locations. They're also used for major crime scenes and also events like today. Other groups there on the day included Ozbox and a five-a-side tournament hosted through Village Games and Sporting Futures. I'm Hayley Bramley, uh, I work for a company called Village Games. Um, it's a non-profit organisation funded by Sport England that is um, intended to run sporting activities, health and wellbeing activities across the district uh, of North East Derbyshire to try and encourage people to get more involved in sport, breaking down barriers such as transport, cost and equipment. Uh, my name's Kevin Atten, I'm a sports development officer, I work for Sporting Futures. Uh, Sporting Futures, we're a Derbyshire based charity, uh, so we, we operate in all districts in Derbyshire and I'm responsible for Bowls Over District and um, North East Derbyshire. And we, we use sport as a way to engage with a lot of hard to reach young people to try and um, steer them away from things like antisocial behaviour, drinking and smoking and um, basically giving them opportunity to take part in sport and physical activity. Um, so we're here today at Renishaw um, Community Day. Um, the purpose of the day in general is to try and provide something incorporating the Olympics and the Jubilee with it being 2012. Um, something for everybody, so we've got Ozbox here today um, who are a diversionary set up from Derbyshire Constabulary. Um, we've got Kevin with Sporting Futures, we have North East Dobbs District Council. Um, the Parish Council have also organised lots of stalls and different activities for people to take part in. But with regards to village games and what we bring to the day, it's more about trying to provide something for everybody and trying to make everything as easy as possible. So again, a lot of the activities today are free of charge. Um, they're open to people of all ages. Uh, the, the insurance costs and equipment costs would be covered by myself and Kevin for the activities. Um, so the day in general is, is, is basically for everybody to have a go, try something new and maybe come away with uh, a new love for something. Yeah, as Ailey said, it's, it's, a, it's a big community today for Renishaw and Sporting Futures. We've been asked to, um, to organise a football tournament. Uh, so we've got 
uh, a tournament going on right over here for the age groups of um, 10 to 13 years old. We've got six teams playing uh, in a League 4 back tournament. We've got parents who have come out to watch, we've got other friends who have come out to watch the, the mates. Um, we've got trophies for winners uh, for that sense of achievement. So and so far everyone's having a really good day and really enjoying it. So. We just sat here with Steve Fiddler who's put today together uh, along with Renishaw Forward. Has it been a lot of work Steve? It takes a lot of work to do it. It's, it's great work to do it, but people don't realise there's so much to do. I mean, imagine decorating this place, that takes nearly half a day. And apart from that, you have to think about trying to get the people interested in coming, talking to them on what they want to do, how they want to promote it, what kind of stall do they want. For, so it's worked. It's working quite well. It, even having two events on one day, uh, I've been on the Golden Ball field and I've seen loads and loads of people enjoying the five-a-side football, the egg and spoon race. So it's quite pleasing that the weather's okay and I think the majority of people are having a great time, which, is, which does me a power of good. So the answer is, wow, yeah, it's worth it. Whatever I do, it's worth it. You must have had a lot of help from people uh, in putting this together. Is there anybody particularly you'd like to say thanks to? Well, it's the village. I mean, the village has all been involved in it in one thing or the other. But to be honest, I mean, Ricknell Homes have put a lot of work into this. So it's good that they're involved and they're going to be involved next year. But I'd also like to thank uh, Michelle and Margaret from Renisher and Spinkle Community Hall because they've been fantastic. They've helped me a lot. They've been down nearly every afternoon putting the buntings up with me, organising this, organising that. We've got this fantastic film show tonight and they've been knocking on people's doors and talking to people. We've got some great advertisement out it for free. So I'd like to thank, thank them very much. But Ricknell Homes have been very good. Uh, they deserve really a great thanks. It's, it's good that they've been involved. How's it compared to years gone by? I think it's just about the same indoors. On the field, there are that many people outside, but they're also coming inside for a cup of tea, a wander around the stalls. So all in all, I think it's a lot better than previous years.